What's up? My name's Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I've got something that's not necessarily important to fix, but it's something that could be annoying you, like it is me. Hitting Control Shift and Escape to bring up the Windows Task Manager, and heading across to the Startup tab, you'll notice something a bit suspicious here. There's a file named Program, and right-clicking on it, unlike these other files, there isn't an open file location, instead it's just blank. What is this program entry? Well, don't worry, it's probably not a virus or anything like that. If you right click and you're unable to open the file location, then it's probably a leftover from a program being uninstalled that wasn't deleted properly. How do we fix this? Well, it's super simple. There's two ways of doing this and we'll be running through both of them. So at the very top, I'll right click this bar up here where we can sort and I'll make sure to check not only startup type, but also command line to see exactly what these are pointing to. As you can see, program corresponds to C program files, quotation mark, files, OO software defrag ooddtray.exe. Now, there's not supposed to be a quotation mark over here, which is what's breaking it. So here's where we get into the two things about this. The first one, we can delete this if the program's not actually installed, which is my case. Otherwise, if the program is there and it's supposed to be starting up with your PC, we can fix that by moving something as simple as this, this little annoying quotation mark. How do we do that? Well, it's going to be a bit tricky if this is your first time in the Windows registry, but don't worry, I'll be holding your hand the whole way. Hold start, press R to bring up the run dialog box, and inside of here, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, regedit, and hit enter. After clicking yes to run as admin, you'll see something similar to this. What do we do here? Well, to begin, in the description down below, you'll find four different strings of text. They are these over here. These are different possible locations that the shortcut could exist in that will either be deleting or editing. I'll start with the first one, I'll select it, copy it, and at the very top of this window, I'll select all the text here, paste it in, and hit enter. This will jump us straight to the correct folder. As you can see inside of here, we have some entries. And if we have a look at Task Manager, you'll see that these entries are reflected here as well. We have sorting by name, Discord on the left, and it should be showing on the right somewhere. I think it shows up as update. Can't really find it, but we have Docker Desktop, say Glasswire, Google Chrome, Drive Sync, JetBrains, etc., etc. As you can see, this program over here doesn't seem to show up on this list, and it should be named something like OOD Tray or whatever the name of the EXE is here or the folder that it's in. But regardless, that's what we'll be looking for. On the right hand side over here, you'll see data, and these should match the same file location as it says inside of Task Manager over here. So we're looking for OO software or something like that. As you can see, it's not anywhere on this list. None of these are pointing to the correct place. What can we do? Well, let's go ahead and head across to the second one in the description down below. I'll copy it once again, select all the text, paste, enter, and it'll be taken straight to that folder. As you can see, here it is over here. OO defrag tray. Unlike the other ones up here, if you don't know how Windows works with files, usually if there's a space, it signifies the end of one block of text and the rest of these afterwards are considered arguments. What is an argument? Well, it's something like hyphen startup, slash proxy, slash hide, or something like this. These are usually added to games, such as something like hyphen full screen to run the game in full screen. It's an argument. Regardless, all you have to do is double click the entry and if we know it actually exists here, simply add a quotation mark on both sides of the file name. So right before the drive directory over here and all the way at the end of .exe or whatever file extension it is. If you see space hyphen full screen, for example, make sure to put the quotation marks before this point, not after. No spaces, nothing after the .exe and right before the drive declaration at the very beginning over here. After doing this, hit OK. And after restarting Task Manager, if the file exists, you should see it display properly over here. For me, it is displaying properly, and you can see the icon has changed, so has the name, OOD Tray, and it's pointing to the correct place. I can right-click it and click Open File Location if the file existed. This is when we get to the second one that I was talking about earlier. If you uninstall the program or this file doesn't exist, which you can check by navigating across there yourself, Let's go ahead and delete this completely by selecting the entry, right click and clicking delete. After hitting yes, the startup command will disappear from the run folder that it's in and it will no longer start up or attempt to start up when Windows boots and it'll no longer be in this list over here. If instead you'd like to disable it to not start it with Windows, you can sort by status and check to see if it's enabled or not. Then right click it and click disable. 
If you don't see the status at the very top, right click at the sorting bar up here and simply make sure that status is checked. Besides that, if you're curious, you can head across to these other folders, which are also linked in the description down below and see what kind of files are hiding around there. Sometimes you'll see the entry in more than one place. Otherwise you can see what else is starting with Windows, exactly how it's starting. Now that we've gone through the registry, what do we do if you can't find it in the registry? Well, that's when the startup type comes in handy. Usually the ones with folder next to them mean that the shortcut exists in a startup folder instead of the registry, such as these ones over here. To get there, all we have to do is head across to the next bit of text in the description down below, which should take you across to your C drive, program data, Microsoft Windows, start menu programs, startup. This folder over here contains some shortcuts and these start up with Windows, such as these ones in here. They're just not in the registry. Much like the registry links down below, this has multiple folders as well. We can also navigate across to percentage app data percentage, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, programs, and finally startup. This link will also be in the description down below. Much like the previous step, you can right click properties and edit it yourself in here. In the target section, the same rule applies with the quotation marks and the arguments being after the quotation marks. And of course, we can just delete it here to get rid of it out of our start menu completely. But besides that, that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.